Good morning. This is Father Stephen Kelly from St. John's Church in Detroit. We're continuing our series of daily morning meditations where we generally look at one or another lessons that are assigned for morning or evening prayer, what is known as the daily office lectionary. And hurrah, today is Sunday. We gather together to glorify God in our worship, to hear his holy word proclaimed and interpreted, and, of course, most importantly, to receive Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, something you can't do online, you have to do in person. So I do hope that you are on your way uh, towards St. John's if you are seeing this in the morning, uh, or if you're further away uh, that you have gone, or going to, or have gone to church today uh, somewhere near your house. Um, Today, I thought we would go ahead, as we do on Sundays, uh, and look at the collect that's appointed for today. Today is the third Sunday in Advent, and it's known as Gaudete Sunday, from the opening words of the introit. It's also known, which means to rejoice, uh, and also known as Rose Sunday, because we are wearing rose-colored vestments. Rose uh, is, well, it looks a lot like pink, I know, uh, but rose is a lightening up of the color purple. Uh, so if you have an Advent wreath at home, and of course we have them here at the church, uh, you will see that one of the four candles for Advent is usually rose pink rose. Uh, and so today is the Sunday that you light the rose candle uh, on your Advent wreath. Uh, and so today we're going to take a look at the less, at the colic that's assigned, uh, because remember, Advent's not just about getting ready for Christmas, it's also getting ready for the return of Jesus Christ. And so the colic is this. O Lord Jesus Christ, who at thy first coming did send thy messenger to prepare thy way before thee, Grant that the ministers and stewards of thy mysteries may likewise so prepare and make ready thy way, by turning the hearts of the disobedient to the wisdom of the just, that at thy second coming to judge the world we may be found an acceptable people in thy sight, who livest and reignest with the Father and the Holy Spirit ever, one God, world without end. Amen. Okay, so the gospel lesson that's appointed for Holy Communion today is the story of John the Baptist. Uh, and so we hear about John the Baptist's follower coming to Jesus and asking about uh, Jesus' ministry at the invitation of John the Baptist. And of course, we know what will end up happening to John the Baptist is that he will be beheaded. Um, but Jesus, of course, reminds them to tell John exactly what you are seeing, the dead are raised, the dumb here, etc., etc. Uh, and we look at today's collect in light of that lesson, and we think about the reality that John the Baptist was sent to prepare the way for the public ministry of Jesus. He was his kinsman, right? We know about from the beginning of Luke's gospel about the story of Mary and Elizabeth coming together uh, and meeting each other while they were both present. And hip hip hooray, um, we have uh, this wonderful story of, of, of John the Baptist leaping in the womb of Elizabeth. He's announcing the presence of Jesus. So who fast forward 30 years and John the Baptist is publicly announcing the coming of Jesus Christ. And so, just as that was John the Baptist's job, the colic today is a reminder to the ministers of the church, particularly the clergy, the ordained ministry, but we all are called to some ministry in the church, that we are to be good stewards of those mysteries by proclaiming the good news of God in Jesus Christ so that we will be prepared for the coming of Jesus Christ, right? So we're looking again at that forward-looking of the event that hasn't happened. And, you know, one of the issues, of course, is that prophets are rarely accepted because their message is hard. Their message is one of repentance, of acknowledgments of sin, and people don't want to acknowledge their sinfulness. They don't want to be uh, have to accuse themselves or be accused of sin. Uh, and so it is that it is the work of the clergy, and it is also the work of all those praying uh, and, and sharing the good news of God in Jesus Christ to make people aware of their need to repent. And I don't mean everybody's have to be around going, you're a sinner, you're going to hell. Right? And that's, not, that's, that's not I'm saying how it's to be done charitably, uh, but rather to be pointing out to people and how this is how God would have us live through faith in Jesus Christ, through the forgiveness of sins by repentance. Right? So we're learning all these things, and it is the work of the clergy of the church and to the laity of the church as well, uh, as, sec as well, uh, to realize that we are to be an acceptable people in God's sight, and we do that through repentance of sin. This is a penitential season, after all. Uh, so, I hope that you are on your way to church, and that God will be glorified in your presence, and that you will be sanctified in the reception of the sacrament. May you have a blessed day.